Are you ready with the next question? So, here is your question. Question says, Meena chose rupee 250 shirt, 350 skirt and a rupee 100 belt. What is her total cost? And your options are rupees 500, option B rupees 700, option C rupees 800 and option D rupees 900. Okay. So, what are we going to do here? We need to add, right. So, she purchased a shirt for rupees 250, purchased a skirt for 350 and a belt for 100. So, 0, 5 plus 5 is 10, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6 and 6 plus 1 is 700. So, which means she has spent a total of 700 rupees. Where is it? Yes, option B is my right answer. Clear? Shall we move to the next question? Okay, here is your next question. The next question says, this is names and this is the amount. Okay. So, the four friends were Ravi, Ashok, Rahul and Akash and rupees 20, rupees 50, rupees 30 and rupees 40. So, based on this, you need to answer the following questions. So, question 1 is who has the highest value of money. Okay. The next question is what is the difference between Rahul and Ashok. The third question is Who among them can purchase a pen of twenty five rupees? and a ruler of 10 rupees. Okay. So, now the first question says who has the highest value of money? Just see and tell me. Yes, it is Ashok who has got 50 rupees. So, the answer is Ashok and he has got a value of 50 rupees. The next one, what is the difference between Rahul and Ashok? So, what is the value which Rahul has? Rahul has 30 and what is the value which Ashok has? He has 50. So, it is the difference of 20 rupees. Right. The next one, Who among them can purchase a pen of 25 rupees and a ruler of 10 rupees? So, what is the total? If we add 
when pen of 25 and ruler of 10, which means that they should have a minimum of 25 rupees, right? Who among them is having? Yes. So, Akash and Ashok. Akash has 40 rupees and Ashok has 50 rupees. So, these two can purchase a ruler and a pen, whereas Rahul and Ravi cannot purchase because their total is lesser than the good value of the goods that is kept here. Okay? So, did you understand? Shall we proceed further? The next interesting question for you is here. Cost of 1 meter nylon cloth is rupees 45. Okay? And cost of 2 meter cotton cloth is rupees 120. Okay? So, now you need to find out, find out the cost of One meter nylon and four meter cotton cloth. Okay. So, in this question, cost of one meter nylon cloth is how much? 45. And cost of two meter of cotton cloth is? 120. So, if we add total, we have, it works out total to be rupees 165. Right. So, now, the second part in this question which we have to do is, we need to find out the value of 1 meter because here they have given me 2 meter. So, 2 meter costs me 120. So, what is the value of 1 meter? So, how will I do? I will divide it, right? So, 120 divided by 2. So, 12, 6 are, 2, 6 are 12 and then 0. So, which means 1 meter is costing me rupees 60, right? Now, they are asking me to find out the cost of 1 meter nylon cloth and 4 meter cotton cloth. So, 1 meter nylon is how much given here? It is 45. Right? And they are asking me 4 meter cotton cloth. So, 4 meter cotton, we have just now found out the cost of 1 meter is 60. So, 4 will be 60 into 4, which is rupees 240. Right? So, if you add together 5, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 2. So, this will cost me rupees 285. So, the answer will be 285. Is it clear children? Did you understand how to do it? So, you need to first see whether the amount given is for 1 meter or for more and then you need to solve these questions. Okay? So, shall we see the last question in this chapter? Something tricky I will give you. Okay? Ready? Okay. So, here is your question. The question says, if Rohit spends 250 rupees, which items he can buy? Okay. Here it is given as pencil is rupees 5, then you have toy bike which is rupees 200, then he has a doll which is rupees 
100 then a shirt which is 150 and a toy car which is 80 rupees okay so the options given here are he can buy a toy car and a doll option b toy car and a shirt then the third one is doll and a pencil and option d is doll and the shirt okay the question here states that which two items he can buy so coming to the first one toy car and doll toy car is how much children toy car is 80 and doll is how much doll is 100 so it costs you total of 180 rupees okay the next one toy car is how much 80 and shirt is how much shirt is 150 so it works out to 0 150 plus 80 5 plus 8 is 13 1 plus 1 is 2 so 230 next one doll and a pencil doll is how much 100 and pencil is 5 so it is total of 105 and the last one says doll and a shirt so doll is how much 100 and shirt is how much 150 so it is 250 so which two items he can buy for exactly 250 it is doll and a shirt which works out to be 250 rupees okay so are you clear with these type of questions children did you enjoy doing the money sums they all were interesting and we have covered so many questions right so see you all in the next topic